Top 10 Historical Fiction Books of 2023 1. The River We Remember by William Kent Kruger A historical mystery from the author of This Tender Land, The River We Remember, is a 1,950-S-era story of a Minnesota small town that is rocked to its core when one of its most prominent citizens is murdered and old grudges resurface. Kruger excels at crafting realistic, if occasionally grim, character portraits, and it sounds like this latest effort is no different. 2. The Witching Tide by Margaret Meyer Based on records of a deadly 17th-century witch hunt in East Anglia in which over 100 innocent women lost their lives, The Witching Tide is a fraught tale of prejudicial assumptions, well, ignorance, misogyny, and the horrors they can give rise to. Three Cities of Women by Kathleen B. Jones Verity Fraser, a disillusioned professor of history, risks her career when she sets out to prove that the artist responsible for the illuminations in the medieval manuscripts of Christine de Pizan was a remarkable woman named Anastasia. As Anastasia's story unfolds against the richly evoked 15th century backdrop of moral disaster and political intrigue, yet extraordinary creativity, Verity finds little evidence of the artist's existence while discovering the missing pieces to make her own life whole. 4. The Fraud by Zadie Smith Author Zadie Smith's first foray into historical fiction is a story that, while it technically revolves around a court case that gripped and divided Victorian England, explores issues that range from literary history to the horrors of slavery. It is 1873. Mrs. Eliza Touche is the Scottish housekeeper and cousin by marriage of a once famous novelist now in decline, William Ainsworth, with whom she has lived for 30 years. Stend the Dance of the Dolls by Lucy Ash. The Dance of the Dolls tells the story of identical twin ballerinas rehearsing for Coppelia at the recently opened Sadler's Wells Theater. Superficially, even their differences are complementary. Olivia aspires to be the perfect ballerina, while Clara is rebellious and independent. Clara takes up a relationship with the bohemian and passionate Nathan, a pianist at the theater. Meanwhile, Olivia is unaware that she has cast a spell on another frequent visitor to Sadler's Wells. Samuel, a bashful apprentice ballet shoemaker who steals into the building as often as he can to watch her dance. But as the sisters rehearse, danger lurks. 6. Babylon, a novel of Jewish captivity by Michelle Cameron. Everything changes for Sarah the day Nebuchadnezzar's army storms Jerusalem. In an instant, her peaceful life on the farm is ripped her city sacked, her temple desecrated, her people enslaved. Marched across unforgiving desert sands to Babylon, Sarah and the remaining Judean people must find a way to keep their faith alive in a new and unforgiving home. 7. Fair Rosalind by Natasha Solomons Subversive and thoughtful, Fair Rosalind is the rare Shakespeare retelling that actually feels as though it has something new to say. Rosalind, headstrong and independent, is unsure of Romeo's attentions, but with her father determined that she join a convent, this handsome and charming stranger offers her the chance of a different life. Eight North Woods by Daniel Mason the latest novel from Daniel Mason, a Pulitzer Prize finalist for a registry of my passage upon the earth in 2020, Northwoods is the story of a house, one that encompasses both the passage of centuries and the brief sparkling moments of the human lives that inhabit it. When a pair of young lovers abscond from a Puritan colony, little do they know that their humble cabin in the woods will become home to an extraordinary succession of inhabitants. An English soldier, destined for glory, abandons the battlefields of the New World to devote himself to apples. A pair of spinster twins survive war and famine only to succumb to envy and desire. A crime reporter unearths a mass grave, but finds the ancient trees refuse to give up their secrets. A lovelorn painter, a con man, a stalking panther, a lusty as each one confronts the mysteries of the North Woods, they come to realize that the dark, raucous, beautiful past is very much alive. 9. 
All You Have to Do is Call by Carrie Maher. A 1970s set story of the Jane Collective, All You Have to Do is Call centers. The women who risked their lives to help provide abortions before Roe v. Wade made the procedure legal and will likely feel all too real for modern-day women who are once again fighting for their right to choose. 10 The Armor of Light by Ken Follett This fifth installment in Ken Follett's epic Kingsbridge Saga is the direct sequel to 2017's A Column of Fire and brings readers and the residents of the eponymous historical town into the industrial age. Follett's first book in this series may have been published back in 1989, but there's still nobody doing it like him in 2023.